in Cincinnati. Yeah. How does it feel? It's been two years for you guys, and I know you're really a proud Cincinnati. Can you talk about being back here? Yeah. I mean, I always love the opportunity to um, come back here and show people around. It's so funny. I was um, just talking to them when I found out we were training here. The last time I trained here was high school or, like, played here. I played, like, a high school tournament here. I was like, I never thought I'd be back on this field. So it's so funny, but the field looks great. Um, Yeah, it's great to be back. I, like, love Cincinnati so much. I'm always so happy to be home, and I'm always so happy when I can bring people here and show them what a great city it is. A little bittersweet, though, not being able to play. But you have other Cincinnatians to still kind of mm -hmm. help show off the team. Talk about, like, the bittersweetness, but still have, you know, that representation. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it is bittersweet. I obviously would love nothing more than to play. Um, but it's not in the cards today, but hopefully, or I mean this week, but, um, you know, hopefully we'll be back at some point and I can play, um, in front of Cincinnati again. But, um, yeah, I mean, I'm like so happy to have two other people from Cincinnati on the team. I was so excited when I saw them and got called in, um, like so cool for her to have her first camp in her hometown. And, um, just to have two people that like, you know, get the love for the city and, um, it's a special place, and now I have two people who understand that, too. Well, this feels like, and I think Aubrey just spoke to us a little bit about this, too, but it feels like a transition moment for the whole program, which happens, mm -hmm. right? Uh, maybe first time for yourself going through it, just even just this week, you know, putting Willis being the interim to the side, two very prominent mega stars from this team are stepping away from the program. Uh, what, how, how are you experiencing kind of uh, this transition moment in the program's history? Well, I've only been here for a day. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I think this, like, this always happens after tournaments. There's this transition period. Um, people retire, coaching changes. Um, I think there's, like, uh, this happens a lot every, every tournament I've experienced. Um, so, yeah, I think the first camp back is always um, a little – weird but um I think there's also um it's a really good time to like kind of establish ourselves of what we want this next um this next year to look like this next cycle to look like and um it's also an opportunity to celebrate two amazing people and players so um I think it'll be a fun camp what are the emotions of uh seeing Julie and Megan step away this week uh I mean it's it's sad but it's like it's it's happy sad like they've had such amazing careers and I'm so honored to have like been able to share the field with them and get to know them off the field I think um growing up like getting to watch them it it was so special so I think to be able to like have gotten to spend so much time with them in this environment and see like how they tick and also just like how great they are off the field too it's it's like been such a pleasure so I'm sure there'll be a lot of tears but um it'll be like happy and sad I'm so happy for them and what they get to do in this next chapter of their lives but I'm so sad I don't get to play with them anymore <laughs> can you talk a little bit about you talk about the transition obviously not the result you guys wanted from the world cup how do you kind of move forward there's a lot happening in this transition period to kind of get set for the olympics this feels like the first step obviously yeah, I mean, it's a quick turnaround. The Olympics is less than a year away? Less than a year away? Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I think um, that last game in the World Cup obviously was our best game. So I think it's building on that. And then, obviously, we have um, some new players in, too. So um, I think that's, that's exciting. I think um, we're excited to see what we can do building off that last game and um, excited to see all of – the new talent and the people that have been here and how we all mesh and how we can grow and build and um, be better for it.